What's up wizards? We are going to be looking at an old version of JavaScript today, a version of JavaScript that nearly got types. Way back in 1997, the TC39 committee got together and tried to work out the next version of JavaScript. They were fresh off the success of ES3 and they decided let's go for a big one with ES4. Lots of different companies were adding things that they wanted and the process slowly ground to a halt. And ES4 is probably the biggest thing that never happened to JavaScript. Looking at it from modern eyes, especially TypeScript-y eyes, there are lots of features in there that look really similar to TypeScript. So come with me in the Wayback Machine and let's look at the version of JavaScript that nearly got types. I'm looking here at an article which I'll link in the description below about ES4. ES4 never got released, we went straight to ES5 afterwards. So we can think of ES4 as the missing version of JavaScript. ES4 had classes. You could declare vars inside classes, I guess, as properties. You could declare consts and functions. This is just kind of slightly different to the syntax we have today. And you even have getters and setters in here. This is pretty forward thinking actually considering this is 1997. This is pretty similar to what we've got today. It also brought a ton of keywords here so like static for classes, final, private, protected, public. I mean not bad ES4. We've also got our first like proper TypeScript feature which is interfaces. I'm not seeing any of the kind of modern features of interfaces but you can declare functions on them that's cool. Now here we go ES4 had strict typing. It introduced the int keyword meaning integer and it looks like here it let you put it at parameters and also at return types. As far as I know this was runtime type checking. Not just like TypeScript which is just like a layer on top, this was actual real deal static type checking which is kind of crazy to think about. You could even do union types, so you have this syntax which is the modern version and you have this syntax which is how it would have been in ES4. Honestly this syntax is like not really that bad and it's crazy how even back in ES4 they're anticipating things that we have today. ES4 I see you, not bad. Look at that, ES4 also has generics and even back then they're using the tiny little T syntax. I assume this was for class Classes, but maybe it was for interfaces too. This is really funny, they brought in a like keyword because by default these object types had to be exactly strict. Like we have x and y here, you couldn't also pass z into this function. But if you wanted to be able to pass z, then you would use this like. In other words, I want it to be like this, not exactly this. I don't know, I just think that's so cute. This probably exists because in ES4 types were nominal instead of structural. If you don't know, TypeScript is a structural typing language, which means that you can pass it any object that matches. So like in this example, we can pass x, y, z in TypeScript, no problem. But imagine a version of TypeScript that was nominal, not structural. Not sure how I feel about that. I think that's a mark against ES4 for me. Structural is good, nominal is, I don't know about that for JavaScript. They introduced a bunch of new types as well, like byte, int, unit, double decimal. You see what I mean? They just stuffed everything in here. You could use triple quoted strings. I guess this is kind of a precursor to template literals. Hey, I heard you like double quotes, so I put some double quotes within your double quotes so you could have double quotes within your double quotes. Wow, look at this. There's like a whole module system bundled into here too. You can have a package com.evert pot inside there is an internal const and a class too. So then you could use it like const my object equals com .evert .my class. Wow. Or this module syntax looks pretty familiar. So we never got this package keyword, but this import stuff eventually made it in. Not bad. Whoa, generic functions. You get a proper generic keyword here. Whoa, and this is like function overloads here, where you don't specify a type there, but you specify a type here and here, and you actually pick the right overload at runtime. Is this really in the same version as like classes, all those new types, all the new generics? It's crazy how much JavaScript has evolved from here, because I just don't think this could ever be possible today. Wait, look at that. We've got some JSX here called E4X. It's since it was technically an extension to ES4, but I remember reading that this was the thing that brought the TC39 committee back together to discuss this. Crazy, E4X was actually implemented in Firefox, but then they removed it a couple of versions later. You had let and const, you had generators, you had namespace properties. Wow. I genuinely can't believe how forward thinking this was, and really quite how ambitious. They never ended up shipping this and instead shipped something called ES3.1, which eventually became ES5, which dominated the landscape all the way up until ES6 came out, which added things like arrow functions, classes, and async await. But it's a real sliding doors moment, you know, we could have had types in JavaScript all that time ago, and maybe TypeScript wouldn't even exist. Thanks for coming in my time machine with me, folks. This was a fun little journey to go on. If you like fun little TypeScript journeys, then you should check out my total TypeScript course. There's a free beginners course, which you can check out at your leisure, and it takes you through everything you need to know to get a job using TypeScript. There'll be another video that you can watch here and a little face that you can subscribe to here. You should check me out on Twitter, check out the Discord, check out all the links below, and I will see you very soon.